be soulless, but clearly not guideless. All the while free of that beguiling contrivance called original sin. Does this make him in some way Homo sapiens superior? More a man? By virtue of being a being man made, in man's image. While I prayed on about the weight of my supposed soul, fearing all that I might be without it. Unlike he, so sure, ready, all of his own, knowing me, his creator, personally, owing I'm no greater, no call to pray to me, that is, to cater to one such as I, save, maybe, the soul that I lay claim to. But is it really derived from up on high? And just what did I surmise he'd be synthesized so into being? From a biogenealogy to flesh, he is me, in a sense. Us, we, rather. I mean, humanity. It's somehow better. Something more by somehow being something less, I gather. Wrought from a mere mess of inert chemistry. I sought only to test chemically creation's dirty polemic. not to pervert the value endemic to humankind. Yet the most prized experiments are those that swell and grow out of their confines beyond impertinent abortifacients and take on a life all their own for the study. But had I known that this discovery might take my ancient, cherished lore and leave it vacant at its core. Well, nothing more would have pleased me greater than to remain none the wiser. And it sure seems that this made man needs no soul to survive. Just as importantly, it leaves me tried, countercasting doubts about the existence of mine. For even without a High Lord to console him, this pithless golem seems just fine. No worse for wear without angelic totems for protection against hellish tempters, nor falls from grace. His place, though ersatz in the natural order, is clearly not one of discord. No need he, and thus we, to be born again.